Hello guys, welcome back to the channel The Techie Guy. And today's this video is gonna be on reviewing our solution with respect to TCS solution. Okay, so TCS has just released their answer sheet for 29 January IPA, and I think of every IPA. Okay, so what we are going to do in this video, we are just going to solve the question if we didn't solve. Okay, and if we have solved the old questions which ask in TCS. Okay. So we are just going to check like what was our solution with respect to the TCS solution. Okay. And how to clear the test cases like all the test cases. Okay. So this video is gonna about all the things which you should have noticed or should have remembered to clear all the test cases. Okay. So likewise, this video is very important. Okay. So just jump on to the question. So Java first problem question number. Let's check it out. So, uh, question it, it is first problem means it's an 15 marks question. Okay. So, write main method in solution class. In the main method, read a string value and print the count of lowercase characters present in the input string. If no correct lower characters are present in the string value, then it should print no lowercase character present. Okay. As a string and input, so we have given explore and it output should be 4 and input 2 is given explore and its output should be no lower cases character present okay so now this code snippet you have to check it out public class my class the name of the class should be my class okay in tcs compiler okay it should be very important okay so let's draw this with the green color so this is very important okay and right now, per, um, right now, this is your main function, and you are going to draw your code here. Okay, all the all you have to display your results here. Okay, now what was the thing you have to remember by doing this question? Okay, so you are only going to see two inputs. Okay, like this input one and input two. Okay, this. So why you are going to see those? Just because they are providing you the condition okay since they have provided you the condition that uh, we have to print the count of lowercase characters present in a string okay and if the string has no lower characters then we have to print no lowercase characters present in the string okay so in example first if you carefully see they just uh, like provided one string with some lowercase characters okay so here you are getting the output for because p is in lowercase o is in lowercase r is in lowercase and e is in lowercase okay so you are getting the answer and in this case all are the like all the characters are in uppercase so you have to print this line okay so this was the trick they are using okay so now these only these are not only the inputs okay there are more inputs instead of this and you have to compile all the test cases it means your all the test cases are going to run for this particular question okay so they have mentioned the condition you and they have given two examples okay two input examples that they are showing now if you are going to do this like if you are going to solve the question based on these two test cases it is not going to run for that okay because these are the two test cases which is visible okay and there are more some test cases which is like that okay and if you are doing something like this starting with this or trying to catch the length or passing just these two cases test cases it is uh, absolutely a waste of time okay so let's jump on to the compiler so we are going to run this okay i am using intellij okay and comment me down if you want me to solve in our online uh, uh, dbm what uh, what was the name online gdb compiler then we are going to solve this okay so main step first you have to remember while solving the question import java.util.star if you are like uh, doing in java then import star okay not a scanner not array just simply use star okay this is the main thing okay now here we don't need hello world so first of all we need to make a scanner object so we are going to make a scanner object okay so here my name of scanner is sc okay so while taking the input i am using sc okay 
this thing you also should have remembered so now for a string i am using str equal to okay sc dot next line so this will give me an input for a string okay in python you can directly use str equal to input okay and you don't have to convert since it defaultly takes a string as an input okay now what we are going to do we are going to loop through this string by for uh, like a for loop okay normal for loop and we are going to here look at here here we are using str dot length okay so this is a string so not um, that one so we are using a string as a function okay so this is the thing right now now i am checking with uh, my solution so let's uh, add characters th equal to str dot i okay so with help of this method in ch i am getting all the characters of this string okay so now i am making a variable which is int lower okay now i am using a built-in method to check if this character is a lowercase character or not so i am using character dot is lowercase method which is present in the character class okay and passing here ch if this condition is true it is returning by, by the boolean and if this condition is true i'm just going to do lower plus plus okay so uh the solution is here finished now i am checking if my lower is equal equal to zero okay then what i am going to print something so let's check what we are going to print so we are going to print no low no lower case characters are present okay and while printing this thing you have to check about the spaces like uh, what are the number of spaces they are giving okay like here space here space here space and also the characters should be like if there is the upper character like n is in uppercase and n should be in uppercase and all the things are in lower case if you see okay so this thing is also very important if you have to clear all your test cases okay now here i have just copied okay just to show you and now i have printed that and uh, i think yeah this is good and if this thing is not true then else we are just going to print our answer which is lower okay so let's run our solution uh what is our solution let's uh, run main okay uh while it's running let's check so here x is capital l is capital all p l o r v are lowercase so p is in lowercase o is in lowercase r and e so our output should be 4 so let's give this first as an input so x is in lowercase l is in lowercase okay so you can check my input is same okay now run my output should be 4 so i am running it okay my output should be 4 okay and uh, now i am running it again and i think in next we have to give all the capitals which is explore okay so coming here and right now typing explore so okay no lower case present characters okay so now my code is correct for these two inputs okay so let's uh, come and these are the solution they have provided so by not uh, jumping to their solution let's uh, check for other test cases okay and here is morning m is only capital and these six letters are in small case so i am providing morning as uh, in my code okay so m uh wait a minute m o r n i n g okay uh it is giving the correct output so let's run it again and check for last uh, test case which is morning okay so i am simply copying it and you can see here is only g is in lower case so let's pass this and i am getting one as answer okay so you have cleared this that what we are doing we are just using our for loop here okay 
and in for loop first we are fetching the character and checking by this method if it is lower or not okay now let's jump on to the tcs solution what they have done okay so let's decode it down okay here they also made a variable lower okay no problem and uh, here scanner sc okay so these are also checking the uh, like here their name is also scanner here they have initialized with s1 okay i have initialized with str but they have initialized with uh, s1 okay so no problem they are instead checking in with for loop and we are doing the same here and here they are also fetching the character okay so here the solution is same okay this solution is same now what they are doing let's check okay so now if we check so what they are doing they are here comparing okay they are comparing if their character is greater than a okay small a and it is less than z okay so this thing is like lower case so what are the all the lower cases a b c d up to a to z okay so they are comparing on the basis of their ascii values okay if you don't know ascii values you can search on the internet okay what are the ascii values okay so in simply they are searching if the variable like if ch is in range between a to z okay then do, do what do the lower plus plus okay and otherwise do nothing okay and now what they are doing here they are checking if their lower is greater than zero okay and we have checked to equal to zero okay so this is the only difference between this they are checking if their lower is equal to zero they are printing the lower else they are printing their solution okay so this is the only thing they are providing okay i think i hope you have understood their solution and this video is all about this so uh so uh now let's come on to our solution so what we have did we are not doing anything wrong we are just checking if our value that means our value lower is not changed then print this otherwise print the lower okay and here we are using the character dot is lower method okay i don't know what or like what this method does inside but this method is only check if your character is in lower okay and in tcs solution they have like used ascii values okay so now if your answer is not working okay with this method or with your method try to do with ascii okay try to do with ascii Okay. and this is gonna be same for upper okay and like if we have to find for the upper cases then you can simply check it out for in range between like this while ch is less than equal to this and your ch is okay so a is less than and your z should be greater equal to that ch okay so this is the condition for your uh, like upper case okay now i am ending this video right here and if you are preparing for anything like tcs ipa dca or anything you will check the questions here we are doing the questions which uh, which like the pdf you have provided i have also mentioned about the important topics which we are doing for like you have to do for your tcs dca since aptitude is also a part of this so this is the video about this now i am ending this video right here okay bye